Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We are in the third legacy operation, Avenger Assemble. Although the Avenger is still far from being flight ready, the ship has already become something of a hub for the early resistance movement. Both the professional and personal connection to the Avenger, Billy Shen is taking on the role of facilitator. Gathering resources and supplies to keep the ship in top condition until the day finally comes that you could fly again. So lower score requirements, but that really doesn't mean anything. It, if evidence from the previous two stacks up, uh, later missions are worth significantly more. Uh, we've got Shen as a specialist, An Yi Shen, uh, Alon Cohen as a ranger, Barta, skirmisher, and now we've got a Reaper going. Pretty exciting. Uh, so let's get started. We're going on Nightmare. Chief Engineer's Log. Oh, that's Lily cool. Shen, first entry. It's funny. Dad always used to smile when he said that. Some sort of inside joke from the old days, I guess. <laughs> Just like how it is now, isn't it? He's gone. And now I have to pick up the pieces. Problem is, I have no idea how they fit back together. Central tried to give me one of his pep talks today, right after Dad's ceremony. Five seconds later, I had my first mission. Something about scanning some old ordnance our recon drone spotted. Oh, that and getting this entire ship operational. No pressure, right? Chief Engineer's log. Well, field notes, I suppose. We're approaching an old interceptor we picked up on a drone flyover. I made the mistake of telling Central about a new 3D replication system I had been working on, and now he wants to blueprint all kinds of stuff. In this case, it was some old avalanche missiles we were after. Okay, so much cool detail. One thing I just noticed is this is, in fact, Lily. Uh, Annie... I did not know that was her first name. Uh, I, we may have heard that in the past, I just don't recall it. Um, and then, being these this ordnance or avalanche missiles that we need to find over here, and then the little the pilot in the front, so cool, man. References to uh, Papa Shen as well. Okay, what do we what do we got here? We've got a ridge to work with, and I guess with the Reaper that we now have, we've got Claymore, some distance. Let's take a look at the ridge. Ooh, hello. We've got action. That's a lot. I guess with the Claymore, it's like a little bit more uh, achievable. Now, where do we want to put this so that we can get the Claymore? Maybe I'll drop down here. At your service. Hope that they get closer so we can actually use it. Uh, we can make it all the way down to that end as well. We'd also like to be in a position where we could take a couple of shots with uh, Barta because of uh, Marauder. I must run. Lily can make it all the way to this full cover. And then... Cohen, I think I'm going to keep you up here, actually. Go, go, go. It's a pretty scary group right off the bat, to be honest. They are coming in close. A little bit of a straggler here. I'm gonna start keeping these entries for posterity purposes. Or just in case I get incinerated into atoms today. Those missiles were volatile before they crash landed in the forest. And then of course there's Advent. If we can spot this stuff, so can the aliens. So we can't take out we can't hit the officer. This claimer will kill off this little guy. Um, the officer likely will run and then mark somebody anyway, right? Likely. Maybe I'll be wrong. But I think we try and just hit these three. Placing explosive. Oh, Grim. What a good name, too. Vero Grim Maravez. I like that. Now, I think we keep Shadow if we blow these up, don't we? That could work to our benefit as well. Nice shot. Way to start. Yeah, he, we're still concealed here. We are still full chilling. But we want to fight. We want we don't we want to take him out right now. 4 to 6 with a 21% chance to crit. 
We could take a couple of shots here. Or we just secure this one. Um, we've got the combat protocol, which could kill him outright. The only thing I'd like to keep open as an option is maybe circling down here to flank the, uh, the officer. Hmm. With the amount of damage we're putting out, I think this is a pretty safe one to pick. Or, we could throw another grenade. We could throw another grenade. It's still two actions, though. It would be this. Actually, we can't... We don't have the, uh, grenade. Uh, that doesn't end the turn. Bradford can probably hit this, though. Yeah, 94. So he could pick that up. And then we bring Lily down here. And we combat, or, uh, just flank the guy. Unlikely to kill him, but maybe he runs away. Maybe he marks somebody. I don't know that we have to be super afraid of that. I think we'll, we'll just err on the side of caution and try to kill what we can when we can. So that should, I was just going to say, we should all be out in the open here. I could run him in there with the sword. Oh, it's actually not even as good, so. Okay, I want Bradford back. Yeah, I didn't get it. Come on, man. Lily's got this. I wonder if I can do both. Flank him so that I encourage him to move. And we still have a hundred. And we're passing up on such a good shot here. Damn. That could have went really well if we hit that 94% shot. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. No, I'm not going to hold a grudge or anything. It's, it's fine. Oh, he's taking the shot. Oh, he went for it. Hard to believe we used to consider these avalanche missiles to be the most advanced ballistic weapons around. That was back when conventional warfare was a thing. These days they'd be considered quaint at best compared to what the aliens have. Nice. Still, I'm betting Central will put them to good use. If we survive this, that is. Uh let's head out here and try and find any action. Ooh, there's some action. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. Stuck in here for now. Tell me, the objective is inside, Commander. That's when I got my first look at the missiles we were after. I should have just went right down there. All right, Lily's on fire. Lily's, Lily's pissed. Understandably. Okay. This puts me in range of the turret. It's something we have to be concerned about. If I go from here... I think I'm going to take this position, and then it sounds crazy. But if we can just grapple up there... And we'll have two shots on this. That would be nice. But there is uh, there is some armor to worry about. So we'll see. I run. And our guys are pretty widespread too. This is another downside of this approach. But Oh, frick. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Really? The aliens never seem that interested in adapting any of our technology. They were definitely protective of their own stuff. I used to think they just didn't want us to hmm. have access to it, but maybe it's something else. So on maybe one hand... What we might do. Crazy to say this, but I guess they're sort of like dad in that way. On one hand, like, they can't see us at all up here. So we can kind of... Get in close there. The 
and maybe pull off like a little bit of an ambush? Maybe. Running. Uh, these guys are they're so far back. Let me bring... Let me bring Grim over here. And if I sit in the back... They may see him, but they're not going to be able to react. A long run. Fifty percent chance to reveal. Worth it? Eh, no. Keep an eye on it. No, it isn't. They're likely going to see our skirmisher, though. Yeah, this is okay because we've circled around them. Dad is was wary of the aliens' tech. He'd always say it was the ultimate expression of biomechatronics. It wasn't meant as a compliment. Okay, so... I remember him arguing with Dr. Valen night after night. Despite the advances the alien tech offered us, Dad was determined to keep humans, well, human. What's the lesser of two evils here? Or of, of three evils, technically. I think the stun lancers are my scariest. This guy, he probably goes for like a mind control. But then we could kill him, hopefully, maybe. I've got two shots here, but not really. If I grapple, I'll have the pull, which maybe helps us. Maybe not. I'm going to move here to see if I can potentially... Uh, I, still, I can't make it to that cover either. I've put myself in this awkward position. Hmm. Does this not show me anyone? Yeah, it does. So if I go here, I see the priest and I see the, uh, this guy. Same on this side. And I'm wondering, like, if I can, if I can get the gra or the justice pull off. He's in half cover, so it's pretty likely. I just hope that we can see him with uh, with Grim if we pull him up. Because otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Ninety-three. Come on. Uh, we pulled him to that side. That's what I was worried about. Because now he's not gonna have vision. Ah, oh, that is absolutely disgusting. I can't get vision anywhere here. Man. Bummerville. I do have combat protocol. Times two. Oh, but I can't... I can't see it! So that ain't gonna happen at all. This is a decent shot, but... We're so easily flanked. 22 to crit, should be 
unlikely. But that's our next biggest target that we can actually deal with. Okay, we blew out the cover. That's helpful. Man. Oh, that's... We just have these little things that are just slightly off about what we want to try and accomplish here, you know? Just ever so slightly. I guess I take the half cover and stay high ground. The full cover isn't going to work. And combat protocol doesn't see him. Uh, unless I want to burn a grenade on it. But I don't think so. We're likely going to get acid spit up here, though. I wonder if there's a better op. Maybe I just come down here. Hope that this guy goes for the mind control. This guy's going to hit him. It's going to hurt a lot. Yeah, it's so unfortunate, but... I just don't want to be in range of Acid Spit to hit two. That's that's the biggest concern here. If I do it here... You know what? Let, let me do this. The combat protocol down here. And then I move Grim. They don't know he's there, but we don't want acid spit anyway. I will reposition. All right. Well, it's gonna be awkward. Oh, he's holy warrioring. <laughs> okay. Not like I'm thrilled about it. Come on, buddy. Dodge. Yikes. Yikes. You going for the pull? Whew. Okay. Pin down. Okay. I'm not saying Dad was wrong, but modifying humans is one thing. Upgrading equipment is another. The Avengers shell is already predominantly alien. An old transport ship has come to end up in the early days of the war. If we actually tried to work with their technology instead of against it, maybe the Avenger will actually fly someday. So, I think if we can take this guy out, we might be sitting pretty. For some reason, this is not a flank. We do something like this. Uh, I'm like pretty sure that this is a flank. Headed there now. I don't know why it's not. It's still a really good shot. That's something to be mindful of as well. Is that turret. Didn't even think about that. Let's see what happens here. Throwing grenade. Alright. <laughs> There's still a little bit of cover there. A little bit. Ninety-four now. Oh, we never miss ninety-fours, right? That never happens. Oh, beautiful. 
Shouldn't have holy warrior, buddy. Shouldn't have holy warrior. Just saying. Now, do I want to get into a shootout with the turret? Eh, not really. Covering ground. Okay. Getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Can't get the Avenger up and running if I can't make it through one salvage operation. Did Dad ever have to go on these? The way people used to look at him, you could see the respect. Right now, I think these soldiers just look at me as another piece of gear they need to protect. Uh, let's just get into position over here. Folks says I am to obey. Oh, frick. There's a bunch more back there. Okay. Okay. We do have... We do have combat protocol, which could take care of this. Let's go for it. Come on. Hmm, not quite, eh? Not quite. If I get Bradford into a position where he can run at it next turn... I think that's the approach that we take. A great distance. The fact that we still have another group to deal with has got me concernicus. Okay. So I guess what we're going to try and do here... This is visual on all of them? So they, so that thing is not really... I go quickly. That's not really blocking any views at all, is it? Kind of on this side, but still not really. That is bizarre that we still see that. Uh, let's get a reload in here. Reload in here. Whatever you say, Commander. They're not moving. I'm gonna actually get to this side so that we have vision of them. As ordered. The, tr the trouble is like, man, do we try and just fight this? If I approach from this side, we can get in there. But look at this. So that that triggers them. We kind of have to figure out a way to like dance in there and it looks like this is the way. Let's go. I guess kind of the same thing, right? Okay, Cohen. Not as sexy, that's for sure. <laughs> we have to... Oh man, we gotta dance a lot. I can't even get there. All of these areas seem okay. I wonder if I just try and get in next to these guys. I 
think so. Location confirmed. That is some serious meddling. All right. Watching comes <sighs> now the question is, is are they going to be all like freaked right out if we do this? Or should I should I take this shot? What am I shooting at here? We don't even know what these targets are. And we just take the one with the best aim and we go for it. We might not even reveal. Oh! Wow! That is a nice surprise. All right, he is revealed though, but that was a that was a big solo kill right there. Big time solo kill. And hmm. I do have grenades. I do. Lily can scan from a distance. Should have maybe considered that. We've got the ability to yank somebody out if we want. So I think instead of running in there, Bradford, we just try and grab some cover. If I get right in here, okay, so let's say we go in here, we throw the grenade, he's down to one, he's down to, let's say, three. We've got Barta, who can... The cover will should be gone, so you could finish that. And then we still have the sectoid shot if we want. But having a... Having a slash for the sectoid would actually be amazing. Uh, like, it could kill him. Could kill him. But we need the grenade. I think that's the key here. Moving out. And with the sectoid being flanked, he's likely to move. Which could be good for us, but who knows. If we kill this guy, I think he's in range if we get the explosion. No explosion. Okay. Alien destroyed. Well, that solves that problem. Oh man, I should have. Hmm. I'm going to use Justice here, but I should have backed off a little bit more so that I could have uh, not been seen by that sec toy, because I'm not feeling awesome about this right now. I'm going to take the more, more of a guaranteed approach. He's moving in. Going for the mind control. Damn it. Get out of my head. Damn it. Damn it. That is bad. Oh, that's so bad. Because I can't flank this guy at all. Oh man, is that ever unfortunate? That is so unfortunate. I go where you tell me. Thanks, I appreciate that. Ooh, okay. 
That's something. Who can give me a resupply? I think we just need to run. And hope that that sectoid, like... Does something stupid. Because I cannot get to him. For uh, anything that I would consider a guarantee. Um... Because he's just going to run at us with the sword, so... I don't know, man. This is a tough one. He's going to raise the dead back there. We can get a flank shot here, though. From downtown? What?! What? <laughs> what kind of shot was that? Wow. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. My life is in your hands. Yikes. That would have been nice to pick up. I will need more ammo. You know what would also be nice? Combat protocol. But we have high ground. Over. Let's move. Holy moly. That shot from downtown. Replacement Bradford. Ho ho! Okay. What a series of unfortunate events. Soldier aim increased by 15. Oh, for two turns. Nothing permanent. It doesn't really matter. Let's GTFO. That was tough, man. That was tough. That last shot, I feel like... I mean, okay. What am I going to do? But... I think all things considered, we handled that pretty well. We got the ordnance scanned, but it cost lives. Hey, no so wounds though. Success. <laughs> if that's true, why do I feel so terrible? No wounds. Day one log supplemental. Okay. May not have saved the world on my first mission, but we got the missile scans back to base. So we get two mimic beacons and a skull jack. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Haywire Protocol, so we're gonna go for hacking. I'm feeling like there's a lot of robots. We got Phantom, which I don't love. Uh, our new soldier replacement, Marauder Justice and Grapple. We also got uh, Remote Start and Blood Trail, and a Grenadier, Shredder and Grenades. Thank you. Not an amazing start, but hey, if we're gonna lose a soldier, early is probably the time to do it. Chief Engineer's Log, Day 12. It's been almost two weeks since my last mission, and it looks like I may be called up again soon. After crawling around the drive shaft tubes for the last five days, I'm actually they thrilled in the change scenery, not to mention the smell. We've zeroed in on a crashed Sky Ranger, pre-war. That's so cool. The drive assembly on those things? Well, it could be the answer to my prayers. That is, if it survives a crash. And if I manage to get a clear scan of it without us all being captured or turned into Muton Chow. Is it strange that I'm starting to feel excited about all this? Then again, I am covered in synthetic coolant. <laughs> this area has been relatively quiet for years, but Central's picking up intermittent enemy chatter nearby. Hopefully we can get to the Sky Ranger nice and easy. Still, I'd better prepare the squad for a fight. 
suddenly not as excited about this mission as I was before. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, wish me luck. We'll see you in the next one. We do have a Grenadier, which is going to be really nice. We did lose that Skirmisher, which was unfortunate at best. But he's been replaced by hopefully a bigger and better version. And uh, wish me luck. See you next time.